Good morning, it is Monday morning and today I'm going to try to have a productive Monday. I have actually been up since 3.30 a.m. I had a nightmare, I woke up and I like to wake up around 6 to 6.45 a.m. and I just couldn't get back to sleep so I ended up just staying awake. I did take a nap from like 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. but I've been awake, I was doing some like video editing stuff and honestly just scrolling TikTok for like a couple of hours. So I have been up for quite a while, I did my hair, my makeup, I'm also wearing actual people clothes. I am trying so hard to just get dressed and not try to gravitate towards my gym clothes that I have been wearing basically non-stop for the last two years. Today is going to be a big YouTube day, I have to film. As I'm doing right now, I have to edit another video. I do have to film a few more extra clips for that video and it's just a big YouTube editing video day. And then this morning, I'm actually going to head out and go to the Eaton Center. I'm gonna walk there. It's supposed to rain soon, so I'm gonna take an umbrella, but it's really hot in Toronto at the moment. It's a nice t-shirt and shorts kind of weather and it's definitely worth having an early morning walk. I need to go to Dynamite because I went there yesterday and I tried on a few pieces of clothing and I bought one dress, which I will show you in a minute. It is absolutely stunning. But I was filming myself in the mirrors because I was possibly gonna put together like a reel or a TikTok. I haven't put it out, I don't think, maybe, I don't know. But as I was filming these like really pretty dresses, I noticed that my Apple Watch was shot, so I took it off because it's really ugly. And I threw it down and then I got changed, went to the checkout, walked all the way home. And about an hour later, I was like, I don't have my Apple Watch. It turns out I left it at Dynamite. So I need to go and pick up my Apple Watch. I also actually bought two items off their website the other day. So I will show you the top, love that. I bought some pants, not a big fan. So I'm going to return those and probably swap them out and buy these Zara ones, you know, like the really popular high-waisted Zara pants that everybody seems to have. Yeah, that's gonna be my morning. Then I have a call at midday and then I have so much video stuff to do this afternoon. So that's the plan. I am going to, I'm gonna show you the few things that I recently purchased and then we're gonna head to the Eaton Center. These are the pants that I'm going to return. They're very gray. I don't know why I didn't expect them to be gray. The name of the color is vintage khaki, but it's very, very gray. I sort of thought, I don't know what I was thinking actually, but I'm gonna try them on with the top that I bought and show you the outfit, but I am going to return them. This is the top and the pants that I bought. I like the idea of the outfit. I just do not like these pants. I love the top though. I'm really loving strapless, especially a sweetheart neckline. And there's also a little twist in the middle. It's a knitted fabric. It's really really pretty, but these pants are just not doing it for me Like the top is bunching over the top of them because the pants are actually too small I don't think they're very flattering at all The problem that I have is with my body type I'm bigger around the middle and smaller in the legs So whenever I get anything that fits here It's always just a little bit bigger in the legs and if I go up a size to fit my waist These these pants will literally be swimming on me So it's very frustrating trying to find pants that are comfortable and fit well around the middle and also around the legs but I like the idea of it and I think that this would just look better with the Zara pants Also the Zara ones are more cropped too and I think that would just look better Yeah, cute idea just uh, not working but I'm definitely keeping this top because it's adorable Before I try on the dress that I bought yesterday I also picked up some white jeans from Abercrombie I've been meaning to get some nice white jeans for summer Only because the ones that I have don't fit me anymore And they're also super skinny and I'm just not really feeling super skinny But with the problem of the bigger waist and the smaller legs a lot of mum jeans just look super baggy and oversized on me. So there's only two pairs of jeans that I love. It's these ones here from Abercrombie, which are the skinny high rise and they fit really nice around the waist. They're a little fitted around the bum and the legs, but um, as you can see on the ankle, the ankle's loose. It's not skin tight the whole way down. It's, it's the type of jean that I like where it's still a little skinny, it's comfortable around the waist, but it does have that looseness around the ankle. And the other pair of jeans that I love are the Levi 501 skin. They're the same shape as this and I actually got these on sale yesterday for like 60 bucks I think no 50 it was $49 which is an absolute steal for Abercrombie I will link them down below because they are on sale This is this is my type of jean and I love it and this is the dress that I bought yesterday I love it. It's strapless of course There's a little cut out under the bust and there's actually a split like up the center back just that comes sort of behind the knee I love it. It's very formal It's the kind of thing that you would wear to maybe a wedding or a special occasion, but honestly I would just wear this out for dinner on a Friday night. In fact, 
It is my birthday next Monday. I have one week left of being 31 and I'm going out for dinner on Friday. If it's not too hot, because this is a really thick material, maybe I will wear this out on Friday night for like a little birthday dinner, but super cute. I'll have all of this stuff listed in the description, but oh my God. I Did I need this dress? Absolutely not, but I really wanted it. It's so pretty. This is today's outfit. I've got my Longchamp bag because I've got the umbrella because it's gonna rain and also the pants that I need to return in there. I've got my black sandals from Ruby that I picked up in February when I was back in Australia. My Kukai shorts, honestly, most of my wardrobe is Kukai. All my friends here keep asking me where my clothing is from and I'm like, I'm sorry guys, it's all Australian stuff, but they do have a Kukai US website and they pay the duties and it's great. I buy stuff from there all the time. And then I have this black, muscle tank tea that I got from Zara. The key is to get here before anyone else. humid and gross out there and it didn't rain it's going to rain soon though it's very dark out there um oh my gosh my hair is like five day hair five, five day old hair there's so much dry shampoo in it and i just have to get it up out of my face it's just too hot today anyway i got my apple watch back i returned the dynamite pants and picked up these Zara ones, which are really nice beige color. This is their classic high-waisted pant. I really want it in the black and the white as well. So I'm gonna wear these for a little bit, and then if I really want the other ones, I might end up getting them. But super happy with this purchase. They just fit a whole lot nicer, and they're a little bit shorter on the ankle as well, which I like. And then that's pretty much it. So I have about 45 minutes until my call, so I need to do like write up a document thingy I have to type that up and then get myself ready for that call. So I will check back in with you afterwards, which would be like after 1 p.m. ish or something. My call is done and I'm starving. So I'm gonna make some avocado on toast. And then I've had a slight outfit change. I've got gym leggings on. Couldn't help it. I just, I need to do some cleaning video stuff this afternoon. And it's just so much easier to clean when you're in gym clothes. I think that's everything that I need. I've decided I'm gonna have some tomato with my avocado. I've changed my mind on the food hoggers. I actually really like them as long as they're the right side for the food. It's just, it's great. Okay, I'm done. That was a mess. I was very awkward putting that avocado onto the toast. I guess I'm just really hungry. It's two slices of toast, avocado, tomato, salt, pepper, chili flakes, and then some hemp seeds as well. So I'm gonna eat this and then I gotta get in and film. Good morning. It's now Tuesday morning. And yesterday I didn't finish filming this video because I was filming another video and then I set that video live and I had a whole day of just YouTube stuff yesterday and so I thought I would pick this video back up this morning. I am just packing my bag at the moment because I'm going to get out of the house and go and sit at a cafe to get some work done. I work from home and a lot of us have worked from home in the last two years and it's great and I love it but sometimes I actually find it really demotivating and so I am trying to Add a little bit more structure to my weeks and my days and so I am like intentionally getting out of the house and giving myself a new workspace to try and help motivate me because I find that being at home all the time quite demotivating and so I'm gonna try and break up my week a little bit and um, do things a little bit differently so packing my bag we're gonna go and have a coffee it's a full admin day today yesterday was all YouTube today is going to be a bit of admin and then mostly inventory stuff because I want to redesign the whole website. I need to take new product shots for everything. I've got new planners that I'm designing. So uh, that's what I'm doing today. And I just thought it would be a good idea to get out of the house and do that.
This is my outfit today, plus my black longchamp bag with all of my stuff in it. I've got my white jeans on from Abercrombie that I picked up like yesterday. I've got my Dior shoes and then just a black t-shirt. But I think this might look really nice with a belt, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna go and grab it and see what it's like. Talked about everything that was on our I actually don't know which way I like more, but I'm gonna leave it. I cannot even tell you how long it has been since I have worn an actual belt. I'm pretty sure this one is from Supre and it looks like it's starting to tarnish just because it's been sitting in my drawer for so long, but I'm trying to wear regular clothes again and actually dress up to leave the house instead of wearing just gym clothes. I did wash my hair last night and it's nice and soft, but it's super fluffy because it's just so humid and it's actually not as hot today, which is kind of nice, but it's still really, really humid. Anyway, let's grab my bag. Let's go and get Get some work done. I just got home and I think that was a bit of a success. I didn't stay for as long as I wanted to. I wanted to be gone for at least two hours, but I think I've, oh, I've probably been gone for two hours because it did take me some time to walk there and to walk back, but I wanted to sit at the cafe for two hours, but I only was there for about an hour because I was sitting inside at first and I got too cold with the air conditioning. So then I moved outside and then I got too cold outside. So um, I ended up coming home. Next time I will make sure I take a sweater or something because, um, I don't want to get too cold. It was a nice cafe, I guess, because this is my first day of trying to add this thing to my routine. I guess it's a little bit of trial and error. Like I'm not really sure if that's the cafe I want to go to every time or if I go a little bit later in the day, like maybe I want to go to a restaurant that's a little more quieter. I don't know. So I think it was a success in the sense that I actually worked on some things that I haven't worked on for quite a while. So that was good, but I definitely do want to add this getting out and changing up my my workspace thing to my weekly routine. This is my workstation. I've been here for the last couple of hours. I moved my desk into the corner. I kind of like it. I'm not sure if I love it, but it's a nice little change. And I ordered myself some Cactus Club because I literally have no groceries. So I got the tuna stack, which is amazing. It comes with these crispy chip thingies and you like scoop the tuna and put it on those. And then I also got a side of mashed potatoes because they are like the best mashed potatoes. And then I've just been working on my planner designs, trying to figure that all out. And then I've done a few emails and other things like that, but mostly just designing the planners and I will probably spend the next couple of hours here as well. I've just been testing out one of my planners. This is a daily to-do list type planner. It is designed for me and what I like and what I need, but I do have a whole bunch of other planners that I'm working on as well. I originally started this about a month ago and it's, it kind of looked like this near the beginning. I'm not sure if this is the first draft, but I had it sectioned into four even sections with a to do now, to do later, a home and a notes section. I literally never use the notes section. So I thought let's get rid of that. And then let's move the to do later over because I really like to have a section of where I can put stuff that I know I need to do later, but it's not stuff that I need to do right now, but I don't need this much space. And I was always filling up this really, really quickly. So I thought it would be better to just have a full page to do now section, a smaller to do later. The home, I could honestly make it maybe this big and I could probably make the to-do later about this big as well and then put something else here, but I'm not really sure what else I want. So I'm still playing around with it, but I've been testing this for about two weeks. And as I said, I just literally never use the notes section and I need more space to write my daily to-dos. So it's working well though. I also like to have a home section just so I know what I need to do around the house. Today though, I did change the design a little bit. I added some check boxes as well because I thought that would be more fun this one I didn't have any check boxes in so I much prefer this design and I want a really minimalistic design so I'm going to give this one a go for a few days and see how I like it and see whether I use this whole 
Oh man, I just accidentally erased my uh, two things that I actually have to go and do on my harm section. But I'll see if I use this whole section for harm and this whole section for to do later and whether I need to change them. But yeah, I'm gonna test this out for a little bit and then keep working on the other ones. I have like a schedule one that actually has the hours that I'm working on. I'm doing like a whole monthly one, weekly ones, all that sort of stuff in this minimalistic design. And I don't know when they will be out, but I will let you know. Also. This app is GoodNotes and I love it. It's got a highlighter function and when you highlight something, it actually brings like the text to the front, which is so cool. And then there's the eraser and then of course the pen as well. I also find that um, if I use the smallest size pen and I zoom right in, that is how I get the neatest writing. Whereas if I zoom out and I try to write in the same size, see it's, it's more messy. So uh, yeah, that's how I do it anyway. That's what I'm working on. I'm gonna give this a go for a few days and we'll see what happens, but I'll let you know when I've finished it. I bought this top before I went to Greece and it was $20 from H&M. I can't expect much from a $20 top and it got very pilly very quickly. I already have a foundation stain in this gap here that I can't get out. And when it's sitting like this, you can't see it, but because this part sits over my boobs, it stretches out. So when I am wearing it, I think you can see it. And then I guess it doesn't really matter. I was trying to clean it up um, with the depiller thingy, whatever. And I accidentally just pressed too hard and now I've just put a hole in it. Oh, why am I like this? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just wear something else today. This is today's outfit. Uh, this top is from Zara, but I did buy it about two years ago. The thing that does annoy me about it is the line of the bottom of the, the triangle doesn't sit under my boobs, which I don't like, but other than that, I still think it's really cute. It's a really nice thick material as well. And then these pants or culottes are from Chic. I bought them about a year and a half ago back when I was back in Australia. They actually have them back in stock and they have like a matching blazer now as well, which I think is really cool. It's a very, very thick material, which can be a little daunting in summer, but because they're so like loose, they're actually really, really comfortable. I am trying so hard this week to just get back to the old habits of putting on proper clothes. I always just feel more put together whenever I do. I'm probably not gonna wear this all day, although I may wear this out tonight when I go to my friend's house. I'm going to be doing short format content today. This video was originally supposed to just be a productive Monday, but it's now turning into a productive week because it is now Wednesday. And I was super, super stressed last week and I actually ended up calling Rachel. Uh, if you're new here and you don't know who Rachel is, Rachel Lost, she's also a YouTuber from back in Melbourne. Uh, she is one of my really, really good friends. And we always call each other when we just need to talk things out. And so she called me a couple of weeks ago because she wanted to talk about some things. And I called her on Friday night because I was like, I just, I need some help. Anyway, so I was so stressed. And she ended up helping me plan out this entire week, basically start creating some structure. So this week is really experimental for me and I wasn't planning on sharing it, but here we are, I am trying to get a new weekly routine, trying to block out my time to be more productive because I was spreading myself too thin. And when you're trying to jump from task to task to task, it is really exhausting for your brain to like have to switch what it's doing. And then you just feel tired and demotivated. And so I'm trying to schedule out my week. So it's like specific days for different things. So Monday was like a full YouTube day. Yesterday was my the inventory and planner day. And today, we're doing short format content. We're doing TikToks and Reels. I can't open this. I just, I just want my coffee. Yeah, so today I'm focusing solely on the short format content. This is a really big coffee. I need it. <laughs> I'd like to be able to film seven today. I've actually spent the last two months trying to learn how to do TikToks and Reels. So short format content is not my thing. I have been on the YouTube platform for 11 years. It was actually my YouTube's birthday about two weeks ago. And I am so used to making horizontal, long format content. It is ingrained in the way that I pick up a camera. It is like habitual. And so short format content where it's vertical and it's really choppy and fast and it's just a whole different like mental process. I'm not used to it. And so for the last month and a half, I've been retraining my brain to understand that 
the way that I think about short format content is entirely different to the way that I think about YouTube content and I think I finally picked up the habit for short format content. I'm not as uh, hesitant, I'm not procrastinating as much on it as I once was and I'm finding it a lot easier. So I'm kind of excited that today is my first day that I'm fully dedicating to making just short format content. So it's, uh, it's gonna be fun. I need to actually sit down and completely brainstorm these seven ideas for the seven TikToks. I try to upload every single day on TikTok and they're just fun around the home kind of clips with the ASMR -y vibe audio kind of thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but uh, I do cleaning and then um, making coffees, sometimes outfit fashion related stuff. I do a little bit more of that on Instagram and then just kind of Amazon products and all that kind of thing. So I need to come up with seven ideas and then we have to film, execute, edit, upload, well not upload, but I wanna edit everything, have them sitting there waiting in the drafts ready to upload this week. So I'm going to actually sit out here. I just feel like sitting out here today and I'm going to get a notepad and uh, start brainstorming the seven ideas that I wanna come up with. I've just been uh, trying to calculate how much I owe one of my friends for going to Costco. I just could not put it into the calculator properly and I calculated it four times before I figured out what I owe. Anyway, I'm gonna start in here and film some Lana TikToks because not only can they go on my TikTok, but then I can also put them on the Instagram of the inventory. I just filmed one TikTok with my iPad. I think I might crop the frame though because there's like a lot of white space down here and it's not very close to the iPad so I might crop it a little when I edit it. But one down, I now I'm gonna film a second planner one because they're actually doing really well on my TikTok so I'm gonna give the people what they want and keep making them. film a TikTok for these food huggers I got off Amazon. I've been using them for my onions, which keeps them fresh. And then also my tomatoes too, if I don't use a full tomato in one go. And they're really cute. They actually look like a little stackable kids toy or something, but I really like them. And I've just been sharing some Amazon finds over on TikTok. So I thought I would make a video about these. Just editing my TikToks. I like to edit them in Final Cut Pro. I know people can do it in the app, but I'm just not a big fan of that. I just prefer to do it in my editing app. I think it's much, much easier. And so I've just put together the iPad one and I've just got to edit the other ones and then I can have them all scheduled for the upcoming week. Anyway, I think I am ready to pack it up for this afternoon. I don't think I'm going to vlog tomorrow. And also on Friday, it is live streaming day. So I might just wrap this video up here, do a three day video, and then I will see you guys in my next one.